Matthew 4, reading from verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. What do you understand by live? Is it only breathing in and out? Is that all it takes to live? Is there a social side to living, yes or no? Do, is there a family side to your life? Is there an academic side to your life? Yes. Is there a recreational side to your life? What is Christ saying? In every way you live, live by the word of God. That is your armed response against deception. Someone who knows God's word can never run out of a church and eat grass. Jesus defended himself. What was his armed response? It is written. In every situation, your response must be what? <clears throat> it is written. For every temptation, Jesus said, it is written. The devil changed temptations. Christ never changed his armed response. It is written. In other words, live by the word of God. And no man can deceive you. Have my child and I'll marry you. Mm -mm. Doesn't work like that. Marry me. Then I'll have your child. Are you listening to me? Prove your love by sleeping with. Mm -mm. Thou shalt not commit this and that. The word of God is what? Your armed response. Write it right across your heart. When the devil sees it, you won't waste time to go to somebody else. You know, the Bible says, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. The reason why we fall so much, we don't resist. We argue, we don't resist. Let the Bible deal with the devil, not you. You can't handle Satan. You can't. The most powerful angel after Satan is Gabriel. He couldn't handle Satan one on one, according to Daniel number 10, chapter 10. Jesus had to come and help him. You cannot handle the devil by yourself. You need divine power. I present to you the word of God. It is powerful. It is precise. It is reliable. It does what it says. It gives life. The life in the word of God is the very life of God. Because only the life of God can create. That's why no angel can create. Make the Word of God a priority in your life. Study it as if it is necessary for your very life because it is. And beyond study it, obey it. That's when the power of the Word is released. In obedience. Oh.